Hi guys, Mark here again and welcome to lesson number three of a 10 part crash course in guitar techniques and playing the guitar. And today we're going to be going through a multi-string play, basically chords, alright? Chords are the fundamentals of most songs and without chords you, you don't get harmony so you don't get um, that, that nice kind of strumming sound. Everything would sound like, um, like a bass guitar which is like the root notes. But when you play six string guitar, we want lots of notes, all right? Up to six notes at the same time. Six strings. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna show you three chords today, which you can practice, practice changing between them, and then you can then move on to using those three chords to play songs, okay? And look through my other videos to learn how to play those songs, okay? Right, so the first chord that we're gonna do is a C major chord, okay? So, um, in the previous, uh, two videos and you should have learned that that is your first finger index finger that is your second finger middle finger and that is your third finger ring finger and that is your fourth finger uh, your pinky all right okay so so I'm going to be referring them, uh, referring to them as one two three and four all right so what what we do we start off here on the first fret on the second string with our first finger and the second fret on the fourth string with our second finger and the third fret on the fifth string with our third finger. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. All right. And then what we do, we don't strum the top. Uh, sorry, the bottom string. Top string. Made a fundamental er error there, didn't I? What we do, we go from the fifth string down. Should sound like that. Okay. What tends to happen is, if you're leaning back at all, if your fingers are leaning back at all, they they mute out the strings like like that. So then what you want to try and achieve is get a 90 degree angle, all, all your fingers are about 90 degrees to the fretboard um, and then job done. Your thumb should be in the middle of the neck in theory, strum down, should sound pretty good. Okay. Now you probably see people playing with their thumb over the top and that's only because over the years that you play you kind of d develop this sense of whether or not you're going to be hitting strings or not like that. All right. And then, okay. So the way I started playing and the way that most people start playing thumb around the back and then over the you know over the years your kind of thumb creeps over the top and then you can play them you know quite confidently like that but try it with your thumb around the back first okay so that's C chord next one is a G chord right so first finger here on the fifth string second fret second finger here on the bottom string sixth string on the third fret and your third finger here on the top string first string again on the uh, fir uh, third fret and this one you play from the sixth string down so you got a nice full sounding sixth note chord all right okay so that's your G chord and then we move on to a D chord sounds like this okay now this one is a four string chord play from the fourth string down and your first finger is here on the third string on the second fret second finger is here on the first string second fret and your third finger here on the second string on the third fret again fourth string down you should get that okay so that's a c chord g chord and d chord and then practice changing between them yeah c then g then d excellent so then after you've practiced those, got them sounding good, nice and clean, every note's ringing out within the chord, go through, there's a bunch of videos that I've put onto YouTube and um, try and learn some of the songs that I've, that I've put on there using chords. And uh, it's Mark out for now. I'll see you guys in lesson number four. And don't forget to subscribe and log on to www.randallsomeguitar.webs.com for some more videos. See you soon.